Good morning, everybody. We are coming down Lookout Pass. We are not chained up. Didn't need to chain up on the uh, Idaho side, so. It's a lot cleaner on the Idaho side. But good morning, it's Wednesday. We are now in Montana. Let's get this day going. up on the other side we're down off the mountain anyway it'd be a slow ride to Boozula it'd be nice to see a plow in here somewhere Absolutely. 
yok.
Look at that view. Man, that's awesome. I never get tired of looking at that. Just absolutely good. You know, Montana's one of those weird states. Amy Wall is trying to kill you with the with the roads the way they can get sometimes. It's such a such a beautiful state. Man. This is the Three Forks Montana region. Wow. We will not make it to Glendive today, that's okay though. Ay ay ay. Now I've been reading some of you guys' comments. Yeah, I I agree with you guys. I mean, Robert made a good point with um, with the parents. You know, we we stop teaching our children. I mean, it's more than just right and wrong. I mean. They, in my opinion, you learn your character at home, how you brought up, work ethic, you know, honesty, all those, all those ancillary um, things that come along with, you know, learning discipline. See, people think discipline is your enemy and discipline is your absolute friend because you get to play correctly within the confines of discipline and it usually opens up doors to things and places and you know working within the confined structures of discipline so that's just my opinion on that um, like for myself now evidently I didn't grow up with a father in my home because well my, pa my, my father passed away when I was 10 so I'm just a product of the environment that I grew up around my mom had enough sense to uh, still teach me right from wrong plus she also made me learn how to do laundry and all those things because she because <laughs> she goes someday you're not going to have a wife to be able to do all those chores you better learn how to cook and do laundry and heck I even knew how to darn socks there's a word for you that somebody may or may not know but yeah we used to darn our own socks back in the day it wasn't like go to Walmart grab another cheap pair of socks uh, just saying so but yeah and like Lynn and Danny over at Go RV America that if, if, if you haven't watched if you haven't gone over there, they have a podcast on um, RV and going across different boondocks and, and all kinds of stuff. And I'm just fascinated because that someday I might want to buy an RV. And they, they do, a, I would say a good bulk of their stuff is in the southeast. They're out of the um, Nashville, Tennessee area. And I believe they're currently somewhere down in Florida area. Uh, but they do Michigan and they go to other states when the weather gets warmed up. As I believe it's Danny that says, we chase 70 degree weather. <laughs> so, give them a look-see. Um, but I, I agree with them. I, they made the comment that just a lot of babies. I mean, I cannot begin to, to, to well, Hi guys, I just can't believe that, um, yeah, the participation trophy, I, I, I mean, did it suck when you lost? Well, yeah, but you dug deep within yourself to do better, especially if you knew you didn't do your best when you... I don't know, it's, it's it's a whole, it's not drama, okay, it's just not, and like I said yesterday, if, if you gave it your best, you've practiced, you've, you've studied, or whatever, whatever you needed to do, and you still failed, in my 
my opinion, you still won because it gave it, you gave it your best. Not everybody can be a neurosurgeon. Newsflash: I don't have the I don't have the smarts, the capacity to do that. Does that make me stupid? No, it doesn't. And it's okay to be told that I'm not. See, I think we've gotten away from constructive criticism and just gone to critical mass. Everybody just wants to just, duh. you know, it's just insane. But I don't want to rant too early in the day. We got a lot of footage to carry. We're not going to make it to Glendive today. We've just had too much adverse conditions. We weren't able to uh, throw the hammer down too much. I mean, it is what it is. It, it might look like I'll get to Miles City. That'll make it a tough run, which means if I can at least make it to Miles City, as long as North Dakota's not trying to kill me with a storm. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I should be able to make it to our yard still tomorrow. If I don't make it to Miles City, that's going to make it real tough. I have to make it to at least Miles City. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get to that rest area on that route road. <laughs> I get a kick out of that name all the time. But we're working our way into Bozeman, Montana right now. Uh, mountains are absolutely just beautiful with the new, new layer of snow. Uh, so, but yeah, it just... I wish we would go back to, I, I know you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube, so I'm not a, I, I don't believe that, but good grief. I mean, we need to grow a backbone, a spine, you know, not that everybody did it, but back in, back in my day, you know, we settled it outside, you know, all back. Let the best person win. Now, because I, correct me if I'm wrong, there was a point where we went sue happy. We were suing everybody. Everybody was suing everybody. I think that was like the late 80s, early 90s. It, you, you, were, you had to be careful because, oh man, everybody was suing you. You were getting sued everywhere. I'll sue you, I'll sue you, I'll sue you. Now we've gone from Sue Happy to we have to have all these acronyms and weird names, you know, like instead of him and her, there's all these other whatever. I don't believe it, don't agree with it, don't give a rip one way or the other. Just saying. And I don't give a darn. You guys can leave a comment. I don't, you know, as long as you're respectful with your comments, I don't care. I mean, because I'm, I'm not going to try to hammer out your opinion out of you. That's not my right. You're entitled to your own opinion. That's why they call it an opinion. Look it up. So, but anyway, guys, let's get back to trucking. I'm going to try to start, I want to try to start learning. It's just kind of still awkward for me to talk to you guys, but I've been conversing enough with a few of you like Brian down in Florida, Robert. I'm not exactly sure what Robert is. I, he probably told me, but I don't remember. You know, and then there's Danny and Lynn. There's there's Brian from uh, someplace or another. Check out his YouTube channel also. He's got a really cool YouTube channel. He does like... Uh, he does some TikTok stuff too. Um, he's into tractors. He, he, and he's out of the, correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, but I think you're out of the St. Louis, Missouri area. So he goes around and goes all these trains and different uh, uh, tractors and like antique shops and stores and museums and all kinds of different stuff and parts and stuff. So really like his channel too. I've been, I've been blessed to be able to kind of watch both of them so but anyway i'll cut you guys loose but before i do that take a look at this
of the land, Miles City, Montana. About eight minutes shy of making it to that rest area that I was hoping to make. We lost a lot of valuable time today. We had horse crap conditions on the other side of Montana. And we got ourselves a little bit of traffic here. I don't, uh, I don't know about you guys, I do not like roundabouts. Just saying, my own opinion, not a big fan. But this ZX up here on the right, just a lot older so therefore um, with older facilities that don't get uh, worked on that often or modernized or whatever you want to whatever you want to call it um, they tend to uh, get run down a lot and because it's a truck stop, let's be uh, full disclosure on this. Um, they tend to, uh, drivers tend to just destroy them. I'll just say it. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of stupid, but. Well, let me see, do I take the first spot? Yeah, let's take this first spot next to the set of doubles. I still got 40 minutes of drive time, but I can't make it to that uh, other rest area. And I'm not just taking an off ramp on the side of the highway. I can still make it to, uh, there's that sound. We'll just call it. We'll just roll it up here. Um, as I turn my clock off. Pardon me. Electronic logs. You gotta love it. Yes, I'm wearing my seatbelt. But um, no, I, I don't sit. I don't sit at a rest area or at a. Uh, shall we say, just an off-ramp on the side of the highway. That's not my speed. But I want to thank you for coming along on the conversation. Lost another subscriber today, so maybe we're weeding them out. I don't know. But uh, I enjoy the conversation. Thanks for coming along. Love you guys. Lord willing. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Love you guys. God bless. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow.